There we go. Yep. Ningopolis Square. Oh, was that like a new section? Hold on. Oh, things have changed a bit. Okay. Okay. Splatoon. Oh, we got a whole new Splatoon. Did it do? Yeah, no, it did that. It did that in um, it did that in the plaza. Is what I was trying to say. That last song was a request from the um, Red Redoubtable. What Spl <laughs> Splatsville rules titled "47 Onward" by Deadfish featuring Off the Hook. Speaking of Off the Hook, where is their back in Angopolis Square after the big tour? All right, that's right. Did you see they announced a new song after the tour? Uh, I got an interview with Pro where she said we're not done fighting yet. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. <laughs> uh, isn't the world tour over? Maybe they still have a score to settle with someone. Uh, apparently that's not all the news we have for you today. Turf War is making a comeback at Angopolis Square. The hype is real, it seems. Another Angopolis story? Don't we have any real news? Wow, okay, they're, they're really just haters for life. <laughs> wow, back in mid. I, I like the square. I'm a square defender. So, I mean, the reason... So, I have continued to use Splatsville as my main hub because... I just like the idea that every game has a different hub world, and I think it's cool to be in the newest one, but I actually like the square a lot. I might even like it more than the plaza. Okay, we're doing the same thing where we have the, the tutorial from Splatoon 2. That's cool. And oh, the, okay, they, they did finish the construction over here. Okay, cool. Um, looks like a few residents are still spacing out. Shouldn't someone do something about that? One of the destinations from the train is the order sector. Okay, so we can just go there from there. Cool. It looks a little worse than Splatoon 2, low-key. I don't know if that's just like the lighting or the textures or what, but it, it's cool. It's kind of surreal, actually. I guess this replaces the Krusty Sean food truck, but you can't actually interact with it. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I love that they're all based off different cities. It feels weird having this like space back here. Oh, and they moved. This part feels different. Was it there? Was there a building there before? Or that was that construction? Oh, this part is like tripping me out. I, <laughs> this looks different. You can still see the tower though. Okay, could be, I feel like that building wasn't there before. I don't know, I'm confused. Oh, they have a damn sock spanner there. Oh, merch is just big, but here now. Okay. Um, <gasps> ah! <laughs> I don't know what sound I just made. Oh my God, I just I just made like the worst like fangirl sound of my life. I don't know why that came out of me, but I... <laughs> That's how I feel about Isopadre, in case you didn't know. <laughs> oh my god, okay, that was actually really embarrassing, but but I love Iso Padre. Oh my god. Um, oh, and this is Table Turf now. Oh, that, they just block off the subway entrance. Okay. Okay. I'm, so, I'm I don't know why I made that sound. I'm actually have never made that sound before in my life, but I really like Iso Padre. Oh my god. Oh. I'm like lightheaded after that. Speak to Merch? Does he have something else to say? Do you just like commute daily between the cities? Oi chum. Hey, you're not oh, <laughs> you're not connected to the internet. That's that's what he says now. Okay, let's see this. Bait the hook. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of okay. I like that. That's kind of cool. You come to Gobble Square often? I lived here when I was a tyke. Uh, now that I'm back, everything looks so much smaller than I remember. Suppose it was me that grew. These days, I split my time between the square and Spotsville. Hit me up for whatever you need, wherever you are. Fair enough. It just it feels it feels like we're still playing side order. You know, like this feels like the epilogue of side order. Screw it. We're gonna we're gonna play as eight for a bit. Why not? Oh, that's cursed. Okay, let me put the outfit on now. <laughs> I don't like being in like the wrong outfit for the character. There we go. Oh, it's kind of awkward just being in this outfit. I don't. This feels weird than like wearing the agent gear for some reason. <laughs> I guess because we just never got agent eight armor. It feels so bright. Is it like weirdly like bright here? Like I'm definitely more than Splatoon two. Hey. Okay, Biss got a glow up. I, she just looks better. I'm not sure exactly what about it is. I mean, you know, they redid the whole shops. Um and everything, so I guess just the lighting. I don't know, the, the, the Splatoon 3 transition served him well. He looks better. Oh, is it just Donnie here? Does Shelly only appear in the plaza now? Hey, Flo. Yeah, all the Splatoon 2 characters look really good in this, actually. I think the plaza itself looks a little worse. Like, I mean, the, all the new additions are cool, but just the lighting is kind of like, I don't know. It's the same problem with just Splatsville compared to Splatoon 2. Like, I, I don't know, for some reason it looks a little worse. The art direction is good, just I don't know, Fidelity is like a little worse, but in the shops, this looks great. I like that there's a whole little like park over here. Oh, there's like a little like barista. That's cool. It's nice that this place finally feels finished. Like it did feel a little, we little weird having the construction for like um five years. Oh, does he not skate? Oh, he does. Yo, yo, he got better. He The skating jelly got better. He's been training. <laughs> I love that actually. I don't know if I'll stream every run. Oh, oh cutscenes. Okay. Yo, hey, hey, you came back. Thanks again for helping us put a stop to Order's terrible plan. You cut Order off from most of its power, so there's no need to worry about it pulling anyone else in here. So, the bad news is, I've discovered an issue with the pallets still in the Memverse. Remember when I told you that pallets are a part of a soul belonging to someone pulled into the Memverse? That shouldn't have happened, but Order pulling them in must have forced them into becoming pallets. 
The safeguards in place to protect the soul's owner must have been tampered with. Sounds like a serious security flaw. I like that they're just reusing the animation for the past cutscene. I mean, fair enough. Uh, yeah, and if it's not fixed, it could have equally serious consequences in the real world. Oh, like the sky is bright now. If we take a pallet to the control room on the top floor of the spire, we should be able to reconfigure the settings to patch the issue. I see. But we can only reconfigure the pallet we take with us. The problem won't really be addressed until we go up the spire with every pallet. And the lockers are still giving off signals from pallets aside. There's still pallets we haven't even seen. Okay, game plan. First, get our hands on all the pallets. Next, take every single one of them up every floor of the spire. Sounds like a big job, honestly. But the sooner we get started, the sooner it'll be done. You get this pose again. <laughs> it's a powerhouse, and with us helping, we'll be done quicker than it takes me to empty an ink tank. <laughs> Yo, I think someone set up shop behind the lockers. <gasps> oh, yeah, that guy! <laughs> <laughs> I completely- I'm like, when am I gonna see this dude? And then I like, forgot about it during the final boss. Okay. Uh, let's go hit the lockers and then check out who it is while we're out there. Okay. So we're very, like, not, like, done done. Oh, I got a key. Nice. And an order shot replica. Okay, we will be 15 starring the splatter shot. Will you please buy lives now? I- I might. I might. I'm certainly more inclined to now that I've done it once. Um, if this is a dev diary, I'm reading it immediately. Okay, no, it's just pearls. Awesome, that's about half the lockers open now. Can't stop until the other half are open too, eight. Let me see what happens in Marina's dev diary. Yep, yeah, trust me, I do too. <laughs> Pearl, don't drool over my diaries, I'm right here. Well, I mean, I, I, for the lore, that's what will happen, Marina, I'm sorry. Also, please stop reading them out loud. <laughs> sorry, I don't, know, I don't know why that's so funny to me. Like, it's funny because it's like kind of a meta joke if you're like, Obviously, a player reading them out loud, but it's also the image of Pearl loudly reading Marina's diaries out loud is really funny to me for some reason. Hello. Hello, you, person. Cypher. Oh, I like- I really like their voice. Courageous Octoling, I have been awaiting your appearance. Already you bring change to this world, but there is more change to come. Your bringing is incomplete. I am Cypher. You shop within Cypher's siftings. My preferred currency of exchange is pearls. My delivery system is leaving purchases at the lobby terminal. I hope that your desire is found among my siftings. Okay, so we're, okay. Oh, a gear, 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 gear. Oh. Yeah, the, that design is fantastic. Okay, so there's stuff I haven't unlocked yet. Oh, you can get the, the pearl wallpaper, nice. Let's literally just call that, okay. Ooh, oh, I like the little 8-bit, or not 8-bit, eight, eight pixelated, whatever, um, marinas. Oh, these are cool. Oh, it's Callie. Kelly and Marie. I don't know if I'll get any of this right now. Oh, oh, the music is different here. Oh, I love this. Oh, that looks so. That look. It looks better. Like the, <laughs> which I guess is a good thing. Oh, there's. Are there new effects? Was that ring thing? I, no. Yeah, that's new because the song is new, so it's like matching it. I love the like the blue gradient there. Wow. Oh, and the tower looks different. Uh, guess what? Eight. The hack I'm calling Risky Rewards is finally ready to you. The fewer hacks you have active when you clear the spire, the more pearls you get. Ah. So that's why people are doing no hack runs. But you do have to clear it. Wash out partway through, no pearls for you. Ah, uh, okay, that, yeah, that's the catch. Once you get the hang of clearing the spire and think you don't need help with it, give this hack a try. Maybe I will. Not yet. <laughs> oh, and it costs 333, of course it does. Yeah, I don't know if I'm good enough to do that yet. Okay. It's more, more just like motivating now rather than intimidating, I guess. That's cool. Oh, what? Hello? Wait, I like, do, do more vocals. Do that again. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> wait, I love the weird sound effects. Oh, wait, it's like, what? <laughs> what is this? Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. I, for I actually saw that in a video. If you walk in a circle, wait. Do the thing. Do the thing. Or does it only happen outside? I don't know. Maybe you have to do it slow. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. This is just, just a fun thing. Like, this just didn't- none of this had to exist at all. This whole room didn't have to exist. Oh, but I have to read it in the uwu voice? Oh. <laughs> okay. This is who Moina wanted in charge of Memboy security? This unflappable, free-spirited so-and-so? I would never abide it. But no reason such strength shouldn't be used to protect a world of order. An order defense force is much cooler than new Squid Beak Splatoon anyway. No lawless do-gooder would be beyond our grasp. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. I feel like I gotta commit to it. <laughs> I'm not proud of doing that, <laughs> but I gotta- I got it's, it's the game, not me. <laughs> Every time- stop, stop. You don't, you don't have to do the voice. You don't have to. Please, stop. <laughs>
Smolik's top secret notes. They're I'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna do the voice. They're locked up tight unless someone fiddles with the palette settings. Glenn Fiddler fiddle no. With from the control room on the top floor. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about Smolisk. I don't know. I mean, it, it seems like the story's not over, right? Like something's gonna happen when we do all the pallets. So I will I will allow them to, you know, do whatever they're gonna do with these characters. That was certainly something. <laughs> I'm not totally sure what the plan is going to be as far as streams. I can probably stream it tomorrow and try and beat it again. I'd like to stream beating it at least a second time because people were saying the second time some stuff is different. Right, so now it's... It's not order, it's the... um, What's his name? Smallisk? <laughs> I just want to see whatever that looks like. Sound pretty chipper pearl? Oh, they finished the world tour? Oh, I've seen people... Okay, I've seen people post about this dialogue. <laughs> Because, <laughs> because yes, they want their their us time. Are, they, are the two always like this? Yes, they are. It's not that much has changed about this place since we beat order. Apparently not. I'm reluctant to mess with the system too much since there's an issue with the pallets. Whatever. Won't be a cakewalk, but we can handle it. No sweat, right? We're in <laughs> infallible, always invaluable. Worth. In, I'm not. I'm, this is supposed to be a wrap. Um, <laughs> worth incalculable. We catch in fools' throats. Call us unpalatable. Okay, that's hard actually. Hey, speaking of pallets, we've seen ones for me and Marina. Do eight and Oct have them too? I did get a signal from one that seems like eights, but Oct doesn't seem to have a pallet. My guess is that when their soul get pulled into the memverse, it fixed onto Oct before it could get turned into a pallet. Not sure what that means, guess I got lucky. So if eight's pallet is in those lockers, we'll find it eventually if we keep opening them? We can't just leave eight's soul to rot, let's get busy hunting down locker keys. Okay, so that order, well I guess it's smallest now. What's it been up to since our big win? I wondered about that too. I looked into it and I couldn't find any sign that it left the memverse. No trace of it outside the spire though. Odds are good that it's still here. It doesn't have enough power to get its tentacles on the real world anymore, so I don't think it's a threat we need to worry about exactly, but... Man, I hope it's not up to any big schemes or whatever. I do not want a rematch. Well, I have a feeling that might be what's happening, but we'll see. Don't worry, we're keeping an eye out for Smallisk. It won't slip through our fingers. Right. Meanwhile, you two should still focus on getting through all the floors. And do. Speaking of which, after you ate. Uh, that was impressive, Eight. How'd you get so skilled? Oct, didn't you say you came back to the members to confirm something? Was that something the secret of how Eight got to be so good? Uh, nah. I'm not interested in being a better soldier or anything. Uh, that's for sure. I remember how often you'd skip out on combat drills back at school. So then, what did you want to know? You ever been to the Deep Sea Metro Pearl? Well, where'd that come from? No, I've never been. Though I got pretty close to it once. Must have been five or so years back? Alright, the day we went to extract Eight. Still get goosebumps thinking about the force of your shout that day. There it is. So it's confirmed that- Oh, she heard the- the booyah? She heard the killer whale? That's what you were wondering about? Yep, and now I know. So, thanks, Pearl. Huh? Thanks for what? And also, you're welcome? Wait, so they're not, What do you mean? Explain that. Did the- did her yelling booyah into a killer whale make Oct- I mean, I guess- well, no, yeah, because she blew up- Pearl blew up Tartar, so I guess she's just saying thanks for- Yeah, that makes sense. Good old top floor, you think that smallest twerp is here? Yeah, looks like it's holed up in the control room. Fingers crossed it lets us reconfigure the pallet in peace, but I'm not holding my breath. You might have to fight that creep again. Stay sharp, eight. Okay. So, I don't know what this is. Um, I assume it's basically a final boss rematch, but... Uh, I don't know if smallest, like, takes over and gets big or something or whatever, but I guess we will find out. Oh, okay, the arena is still... Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, you see the whole, like, city below. Okay, wait, this is awesome. I never... I didn't get, like, a good chance to, to look at all this stuff before. Oh, sick. That looks so cool, dude. <laughs> wait, it's just playing the normal... That's just a normal DECA Tower, like, advertisement screen. Okay. Oh, hey, there's Smalls. Don't mind us, buddy. We'll be out of your way in a sec. So, like, anytime you want to step aside is good. You got some nerve showing up in my playroom and running your mouth. Yo, does it seem kind of different from the way Order acted? Kind of. Your whale might have sheared off some core data in our last battle. You ruined my dream, and not just mine, everyone else's too, you big stinking rotten meanies. This time I'm gonna chop you into teeny weeny octo bits. Okay. And, uh, And he just turns into Overlorder, I guess? Okay? <laughs> I, they're just not even gonna pretend that makes any sense in the story. We're just doing this now. I mean, okay. I like this music. I don't know if it's appropriate for what's happening. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I mean, I, li I like this better than the, the normal boss music, I think, honestly. At least, like, this phase of it. I don't- I, I, I don't know. 
Okay, people have said this story makes more sense the more pals you do, so I'll take your word for it. I mean, this feels like easier than last time for some reason. I don't know if it's just my weapon or what. <laughs> I like this song a lot. I, like, that's all I have to say. I don't know. I don't know. There's not really any story weight here, and the boss fight is, like, the same, if not easier than last time, so... <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god, I really, really, I jinxed it, I jinxed it, I jinxed it, I jinxed it, my bad, my bad, okay, okay. <laughs> I do have another life though, so like, again, stakes aren't really super high. Um, come on, so close, so close. Surely, there we go. Oh, Pearl took him out, Pff, okay. GG's. Do we still do the whole second phase thing, or do we not bother this time? Looks like we don't bother? Oh, you cheaters beat me again, not fair, not fair, not fair. Okay, let's go, Nate, another pallet reconfigured. Fine then, but this isn't over. I'm gonna keep trying for everyone's dreams. I mean, okay, that was like really easy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, I mean, that run went well. Got three keys. Okay, we might get more lore. That's exciting. Got the black. I actually like Vanilla Luna. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, you catch what Smolik said about doing this for everyone's dreams? Who's the everyone there? Okay, okay. I'm so I, I'll, I'll hold off. There, there's something still. There's still a mystery to uncover. And a new palette. What are we getting? Oh, Callie's palette. Cool. First Kraken. That's that's fun. Ah, uh, this is Callie's palette. Man, I haven't caught up with Callie in a minute. Hope she's doing okay. She seems pretty good every time I see her on TV. Yeah, but can you even picture Callie not doing well? No, we found a lot of palettes so far, but none of them have been eights. You're right, but I'm definitely getting a signal from eights palette somewhere in those lockers. There's one pallet left, so it must be Yates. Let's keep collecting keys until we find it. Oh, is there only one left? Oh, yeah, I have 11. Okay, well, I'm cool to do a roller run now. Top floor coming up. Even money on Smallisk trying to stop us again. Why do you think that thing's so hung up on its world of order? Maybe if we knew where Smallisk, or rather, order came from, we could figure that out. Doesn't seem like the sharing type. Doesn't really matter. We're here to reconfigure this pallet, and that's it. Lead the way, Yate. Well, let's hit it. Smallisk, we're just here to reconfigure a pallet. We're not looking for a fight. Do you even know what those pallets are? They're souls with really strong colors. I went to all the trouble to put them into the members so they wouldn't mess with my plan. You weren't supposed to get them. It's not fair. I'm not going to read it in the uwu speak anymore because I'm genuinely just trying to learn about his character. Um, <laughs> you're so annoying. I'm not going to let you reconfigure nothing. We're going to fight now, please. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Good thing I have that backup life. Um... <laughs> Oh boy, I might just try rolling into him because it looks like that was doing a lot of damage. Oh wait, yeah, wait, look at this. Wait, no, 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 stop moving, stop moving. I'm doing like the, the Goldie strat. Oh my god, oh my god. That is, no, 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 heal, heal, heal. Okay, wait, that might, that might actually be a strat. <laughs> okay, just, just hit him now. Oh my god. And, oh my god, please. So close. There we go. That's number three. Right on, now we can reconfigure this pallet too. Ah, I lost again, cheaters, ha hacks, no foul. Okay, I like these hacks. <laughs> Maybe think about giving up. Nah, -uh, no way. I'm gonna make a world of order where everyone can be happy. Smallisk, more like Ballisk. Okay, we're doing that. Boosh. That might be the last one of the day, honestly. Um, it's been a bit of a shorter stream, but I... I really just wanted to see what happens when you do the rematch. And I, you know, I know the dialogue is different every time, but I kind of get the idea now. New idea, if I can't get the system to match a memcake to its soul, what if I could get the memcake itself to do the work? All that the thoughts and memories would have to do is return to their natural form. Now that's an idea worth exploring. So in practical terms, by taking the thoughts and memories stored in memcakes and mixing them up further, then setting them up with the basic framework of a soul, which Marina knows how to do for some reason, um, <laughs> in theory they could sift through them and select the ones where they belong. Sure, I guess I'm following. I don't see a way to do all that in the real world, but if I convert the memcakes into data that I could upload to a virtual space, this is sounding more and more doable. Project Memverse, name may change, is back on. I never thought I'd see the day when the Memverse virtual world I created would serve an actual purpose. Well, I haven't really touched it since finishing the prototype. I hope we'll do what I need to do. This is not a very exciting background. Just like, yogurt. Okay, thank you for the sticker, I guess. Okay, ooh, that background? Is that just the actual wireframe of the character models? That's kind of cool. Memverse development notes. Secure required processing power by tapping into Kamaboko's mainframe. Use the Memverse prototype virtual world to gather memcake data for later world expansion. Access confirmed from within the Kamaboko internal network. Set up external access via standard sea cucumber phone. Okay. Um, users set color chips from general memory index into a palette. 
basic copy of their soul, and establish a connection with compatible memories. Adversity proven effective for memory retention. Have users repeat tasks to make the memories stick. Once the memories are sufficiently locked in, complete the processing. All proposed steps so far have been verified down the line. Okay, so that's so that they explain her building the tower. Okay, okay. There's there's some some explanation for that. Interesting. Might be good to represent these steps as climbing a tower. One task equals one floor. Top floor equal processing complete. If user reaches the top floor, the experiment is a success. User's soul is restored to its original state with its own thoughts and memories. Create dedicated avatars with special roles to ensure smooth operation. Need avatars for members management, user guidance, system security. Okay, so I assume order would be the security. Oh, I like the pearl picture. I finalized my members concept and started working on it in earnest. I'll need to put in some operators pretty soon. I'll handle system management myself, and I think user guidance would be a great fit for Pearl. It's really truly all starting to come together. I'll put myself at the top of the tower so Pearl has to climb it to get the user to me. Heart emoji. Okay, once again, not remotely subtle. <laughs> Wait, would that make me like a storybook princess? Okay, yeah, they are like, they are like 100% gay. Like, there is literally, <laughs> there is literally no way to not, um, <laughs> <laughs> think that they are anywhere. All that experience um, making training stages for my days as a tutor at the training program is about to pay off. Okay, so that's kind of like Shifty Station lore, actually. Like, she she made stages in the Octarian army, so then she that's why she was able to do that for Shifty Stations. Okay. Um, after all, I want this tower to be a good experience for the users, but I still need someone to handle system security for the members. Maybe you can ask that person Cuttlefish introduced... So are they talking about four? Because they mentioned that earlier. Maybe I can ask that person Cuttlefish introduced me to for help there. I'm hoping eight will volunteer to be the first test subject. You, you're really going to make eight be a test subject? Like after after all that? <laughs> after all of Ogdo expansion? But okay. I mean, I, it's to help the people who suffered because of Tartar. So it makes sense. But man, I <laughs> uh, better not forget about Ogdo's World Tour. It's also two short months away now. I'll make time for the music and the members. Okay, that's seven months ago. A world tour started. It's a lot of work, but a lot of fun too. I love being in off the hook so much. Oh, that's it. I guess that's it for that one. Let's see. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why did I think I'd have time for a major project while on tour? I'll be writing this way past midnight. This is me venting without screaming so loud it wakes everyone up. I had an idea right before bed. I wanted to get it down before I forgot, so I went to my computer. And the next thing I knew, hours had gone by. I I have been there before. <laughs> I'll be honest. I get that. What am I doing? A Pearl and the tour staff are relying on me. I can't tell them, sorry, no show today, I forgot to sleep. Well, we're taking a break once the first half of the tour is over, so maybe I can buckle down and finish this then. In fact, no babies about it. This Octoling can do anything. But for now, Project Members, final title pending, is on the back burner. You know, I might not have time to do the whole thing by myself during the tour break, but that's what my friends are for. I know plenty of engineers from the old days who jump at the chance to help. I hope so, anyway. Oops, I think I see the first rays of dawn out there. I've really got to get some sleep. Good night. I don't know if we're ever going to learn who like, these other engineers are. Some of the smallest dialogue has been pretty interesting so far. Like, he was talking about how not everyone actually liked um, the Octoling world falling apart and everyone moving to the surface, which is really, really interesting. Um, I really like that they're kind of adding that depth to, you know, the world of the Octoling people. Like, obviously, you know, it makes sense that not everyone would be on board with that. I actually... I mean, I have spent a lot of time considering, actually, you know, what that kind of dynamic could look like. So... Very, very interesting. I don't know how that's all going to come together, but I am certainly intrigued. Okay, second to last one. Let's see it. It's all finished. Project Members, which I've given the final title of A Dramatic Days in Orderland, is ready to launch. Off the Hook's World Tour is on its midway break, so I've been putting all my energy into development. With so much time in my hands, I might have gotten carried away. I maybe took it a bit too far. But everything's looking good for me to help Aid and all the other victims of, of Camavoco get their memories back. Um, I need to let Pearl and everyone know the good news right away. One last note so I don't forget. As I was messing around to make sea cucumber phones a viable access terminal, I found a security hole. In theory, someone could exploit it and pull anyone with the sea cucumber phone into the members against their will. Oh, so it's the it's the phones. Okay. I need to remember to warn the phone company about this. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Just got the last dev diary. Let's see what it's all about. Tomorrow is finally the trial launch of Dramatic Days in Orderland. Eight will be our first test subject. We put the system through its paces, but we can't guarantee there aren't any unknown risks. But 8's more than happy to help out anyway. That means so much to me. Oh, that's cool. 8 being 8, I'm sure getting to the top of my tower will be like playing on easy mode. I really hope 8's memories return. Fingers crossed. Okay, so 8's... I mean, I guess I figured they kind of had completed... Like, I, I thought by getting all the memcakes in Octo Expansion, that sort of was their whole memory return, but I guess... 
It wasn't everything? I mean, that kind of makes sense. Pearl is joining us too. She doesn't seem to get what it's all about, but she's usually down for whatever. Together, the two of us will make sure it gets through it safe. Aid is just the beginning. If this goes well, soon all of Kimabuko's victims can get their selves back and have fun while they do it. I'm so excited that I have no idea how I'll sleep between now and tomorrow. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they're wearing the, the Octo Tee. And it's it's the Order Helmet um, from Splatoon 2, from the Final Fest. Interesting. Okay. So I don't know if that's the full, like, conclusion of that. I mean, obviously that all is kind of, you know, leading up two years, one year, however many months. That happened yesterday. Oh, so yesterday. Wait, so is this, I don't know if that's yesterday. I don't know if these happen. <laughs> this is yesterday, like, the day before side order happens? Because, I mean, that would make sense why 8 is in here, but then I don't know exactly the timeline of, like, when order took over. Interesting. Okay, maybe, maybe that will make more sense later. Okay, so that's the last dev diary. Um, still missing two lockers. I kind of know what's in one of them, but, um, but I'm, I'm not totally sure if there's like kind of any last minute lore drops or anything. So I will hopefully have that, um, recorded.